Brain Rush. What a great way to try to get your students to play some games, get some great data back for them. It could be a great way for you to integrate digital content some more into your class, and it's adaptive for the students. So by going to brainrush.com, you're going to sign in at first, and it has a nice feature where you can just sign in with your Google account. If this is your first time signing up, you just sign in and you agree to the terms that it will access your email on here. So a lot of these games are already pre-made up for you. And I'm going to play one. We can see that we have our chemical families. This one's actually made by the Brain Rush people. Um, so this type of game has some interactive areas by clicking a hotspot. So I'm going to play it. And it's going to tell me my directions on here before the time expires. You're going to notice that that timer is going to change as I play uh, based on how many questions I get right or wrong. And it tells you how it adapts. And the goal is to achieve mastery. So I'm going to start my game. And where are the alkali metals? Is it this one or this one? Uh, I'm going to guess it's this alkali one. Alkali metals. Okay. Uh, the poor metals. Poor metals. Noble gases. Noble gases. So transition metals. So that one's wrong. So now I have to go find them. Transition one. metals. Okay. See that I started 17 seconds now. My feedback and my mastery has been dropping down. So I'm going to stop it. You can see my progress is. What if you are a teacher and you want to assign this? So let's say if I go to um, learn, and it just tells how I'm inviting, how I'm rushing, and uh, what I've mastered. So this is basically keeps track of all my progress. Under lead, this is where I can make up a class. Unfortunately, it is going to be a little difficult and time consuming for you to make a class, but if you want to do it, you would add a class, you would give it a name, and then you would have to make up a spreadsheet with all your students' names on it and import them. Um, unfortunately, there is no Google Classroom integration or anything like that. So what I would like to recommend instead of creating the class is have you, you can share the link to a game, let's say in Google Classroom, and then when your students have all done completed it, they would just show you their screen showing that they achieved 100% mastery. But they have lots of great topics that you could search for, and they have a library of some great resources. Um, you know, if I did this one in Greek Gods, this is a flip card game. There's a lot of them there as flip card games, so you can share it like this way. You can copy and edit it, or you can sign to students if you had a class up. But I'm going to play this type of game for you, and I'm going to play. Okay, it seems to be going a little slow. Okay, play. And all my cards will be laid out in front of me. After my rules, so this is a matching card game. Who is the goddess of light? I don't know. That's Chimera. Cool. And also plays name for me. And what's right or wrong? Nix. Okay. So the student would show that 100% progress bar to their student, uh, to the teacher. Um, but yeah, lots of great ways. You can also create them if you wanted. They give you some templates to use. Or maybe you want to use this as your creation and collaboration station and have your students create a brain rush for you and have them demonstrate their knowledge of their content. So check out Brain Rush. It's a great tool. Lots of fun, and I think your students will enjoy it um, as a possible digital content rotation, especially if you don't have any digital content in your class or if you would like another option for it. Thanks for watching.